Okay guys, here is a greenhouse update. We have so many plants to process and a hubby is lining the greenhouse. What is what is this that ground covers stuff? I did a lot of work in here and I got this area the the ground so wet and it stays soggy cuz I keep it closed up but I like this idea of putting this ground cover I don't know what you call this stuff it's a garden liner is that what it's called Gra weed, barrier. weed barrier so you put weed barrier down here because we're adding more and more plants I have to like put these in grow bags to do these he just put some strawberries and watermelons in the grow bags these are seven gallon grow bags and then we have some uh, strawberries here and then here are my little flower pots they're germinating and I have some bulbs over here so we've got a lot going on so stuff's gonna have to go on the floor on the ground and uh, yeah, and I always have to wear clogs, and you know it's always muddy in there. And I and we're gonna have a cold snap. Uh, we're gonna have a cold snap coming soon, so all the plants are gonna come in here for almost a week. So that's good. So this is just an idea. I love that. Can you uh, grab those, uh, that water jug? Yeah, give me that brown one. And so here's just a look. I'm going to you know, make this more resourceful, make this space more resourceful right now. This is kind of storage and growing our lettuces and those peppers are doing well and, and the collard greens and everything so he'll get it together this was one of the best decisions i love having a greenhouse that's it's everything I'm going to have to bring these in, bring these uh, tomato plants in, and so yeah, yeah. This is just this is a back guard. Hey, we're not we're not farmers, we're not homesteaders. We're in a residential area with a greenhouse and uh we're not going to be having tons and tons of crops, but we have a nice kitchen garden and uh, making great use of this. We're in zone 8 and so we get at least a good nine a good quality nine months out the year of a uh, growing growing anything we could grow all year long really because our temperatures are pretty mild but like in february we'll get a, you know some freezes for a few days but um you know that's all we're doing just growing flowers and herbs and lettuces i got some seeds the other day and I'm gonna be growing more lettuces and peppers and tomatoes and stuff to supplement our garden or supplement our groceries rather
and we're keeping everything on the patio close to the patio this is we have a good water source you know we don't have to do any irrigation we're keeping it simple but functional water source right there most uh, animals won't come up here just the birds and, and the cats next time i go and get some i'm gonna get some catnip i'm gonna have a little garden we have a little area out here we used to put plants back there and i'll plant something for the animals they they keep the rats and stuff away so glad he thought of this this is really a good solution because I kept it too soggy in here and I learned to bring do all my prep work out here on the patio now so I won't get it too soggy and uh, so he placed it in here he's gonna take those little U spikes and tack it down So I just wanted to share this with you guys. This is just a good solution for your greenhouse. Greenhouse flooring. Take a look. Mm -hmm. So that's our greenhouse update. Okay, so we're going to let all the plants hang out today. We're getting some good sun. It's a little chilly. But, uh, Gonna put, he's going to put the strawberries and all these grow bags. I'm going to put all of that on the, these racks. And then I'm going to put my stuff on the floor. Just looking around, planning. I might take these down. These are just, you know, me testing. Okay. Yeah, I'm liking that. Just trying to figure out the best way to utilize this space. That's all. That's all this is about. Just want to share with you guys as we go along how to make use of my, what is it, Outfine canopy pop-up greenhouse just seeing how we can make the best out of it right outside of our kitchen make this a truly beautiful and functional kitchen garden Right, so let me see these chives. And so every day I just come out and check on the plants. I already did my pruning of my cabbage. And uh, collars needed pruning. These peppers are like off the chain right here. I'm already seeing some little nubs coming up. Let the uh, we've got a lot of bees around here. They'll be happy to come in here and and 
pollinate. Okay. Uh, it's like I have to take a make a record of what's going on because now there's a lot going on. So I got to do the front yard. I have to plant like some of these in the front yard. And I normally get two. I get something for the front, get something for the back. This is lavender right here. This is my little herb garden. I love these garlic chives, Greek oregano, and some uh, sage. Sage is beautiful, isn't it? And I, and I love it in my dressing. Some fresh sage. Got our vincas here doing well. Like I said, as soon as I get a plant, I sit it outside, sit it on the patio water it and let's see how it works how it grows and how it performs out here okay i think i'm gonna wrap this up now you guys see what's going on and i'll give you any other updates once we you know get this more organized and uh, Gonna put the plants in here because we're gonna have four and five days of like 40 degree weather and it's mid April. Well, it's gonna be late, uh, late April by my next update. So, yeah. Okay, guys, thanks so much. Just wanted to share that with you and let you know how easy it is and how convenient it is to have a pop up canopy, how to do container gardening, do everything on a budget beautifully and to um, compliment your groceries. We're growing, we're growing groceries out here. Okay, guys, thanks so much. See you in my next video. And if you like my vibe, hit subscribe, hit that bell notification, so you'll be notified next time I upload any new content, uh, make any comments, and hit that thumbs up button, please. That helps, um, that helps the channel, that helps the algorithm know that people are over here liking what's going on so I can keep, so I can stay on TV, okay? Thank you so much. Bye.